Yes, children. What is a remainder? The number of left over food was called remainder. Yes. After division, the number, the answer after uh, division, what we get that is quotient. And what number remains after division is known as remainder. Okay. Now, if I have yes, yeah. Now I have how many? Three chalks. Okay. I have three chalks here, and I want to give it to two. Children, okay. See here. Equally, I want to distribute them. Okay. Now only three chalks, and I want to give it to how many? Two children. Okay. Yes, two. Then how many will remain at the last? I have three chalks. How many? Three. And I'm going to. No. See here. I have three chalks, and I want to distribute it among. Two children, so I will give one one chalk to each child. How many will remain? Two. One. One. Yes, only one will remain. No, I do. Yes, one. Two. Two is four. It is the number of the children. Yes. Okay. And how many will remain? One will remain. Okay. So one you cannot distribute it among two people. Okay, so how many will remain? You will give one one to each child. You will give one to one child, one more to another child. But one is still remaining. You can't distribute it equally. Okay, so that is known as remainder. Okay, yesterday we have solved some of the examples. Yes. So after that, we will see what is the long division method. Okay, long division method. You have already studied this, children. Yes. Let us work out in another way. That is the long division method. We can write C L twenty eight divided it by seven. So twenty eight divided by four. What is the answer? In fourth table, when do you get twenty eight? Can you see four? Yes. In four table, when do we get twenty eight? Seven. Okay. The answer is seven. Answer. What we are writing? It is the quotient. Yes. It is the quotient. Yes or no? Twenty eight is our dividend. Four is our divisor. Seven is our quotient. Yes. Do you agree with this? Yeah. See here, we have four and twenty-eight has to be written inside the bracket. That is divider. Okay. Divisor has to be outside the number that has to be uh, the number that is used for division for dividing a number is known as divisor. It should be outside the bracket. Okay. The number that has to be divided is taken inside the bracket. Okay. Yes. Tell me, children. In fourth table, when can we divide twenty-eight? It is four and seven is twenty-eight. Okay. Yes. Now I will tell you one more thing. See here. Yes. First thing that you have to remember is since there are two digits in the dividend, we have. Two digits as per dividend. Okay. First, what we have to see? We have to see the first digit. It is two. Can you divide two by four? Is it possible? No. No. Okay. No. So you will have to include two digits. Okay. You will have to include two digits. Now, you will not write seven on top of two. Okay, you are including eight also, so you leave this space blank. Four sevens are is twenty eight. Four sevens are twenty eight. The operation that we follow here is subtraction. Okay, yes, eight minus eight. What is the answer?
Yes. Here I will show you how to check division. Checking division is also known as verification. Okay, you will have to verify your answer whether it is correct or no. You will come to know whether the answer that you got is correct or no. Okay, for this you have to remember one formula that is divisor into quotient. Divisor into quotient. You will have to, for this whatever answer you get. You will have to add it to remainder. Yes, while solving, we have what is the divisor. We also get the quotient and remainder. If it is there, you will have to add. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me, children, in this example, whether we have divisor, quotient, and remainder or no? We have divisor, quotient, and remainder. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Tell me, what is divisor in this example? Five. Five. Very good. Five. Into. Five. See, a multiplication sign. Keep it as it is. Quotient. What is quotient here? Five. Four. No. Very good. Next year. Yes, it is 
one by three. Yes, three, 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 three. three. No. So we will have to include both the numbers that is eighteen. Three in three table. Where do you get eighteen? Six. Six. Eight. Very good. So we will write it as three six na eighteen. Okay. What is the procedure next? Subtraction. Okay. Subtract eight minus eight zero one minus one zero. Eighteen minus zero. eighteen is zero. Okay. Yes. So children, tell me what is the portion here? It is. Yes. It is. Okay, 
Tell the children how many divide and how many uh, stars will come in each group. Yes. Next. Okay. See here. Groups of four they have four. Okay. So it will be how how four groups of how many stars? How many? See here. They have twenty eight stars. Yes, twenty eight stars. You will have to make groups of four. Okay, is it like this? Just a little bit. Four groups. Four groups you can make. Four groups you can make. Four. Yes. Four. Seven. Seven. Yes. Why is it seven? What we can do here? Yes. 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 Totally there are twenty-eight stars. Okay, here twenty-eight stars are there. What you can do? You can make four groups. In each group, there will be seven stars. Is it clear? Four groups of seven stars. Okay. Now there is one more stars left over. Can you tell me how many stars are left over? Are there any stars which are left over? No. So what will be the answer? How much? Zero. Zero. No. Nothing is left over. Everything is being equally distributed in each group. In each group there will be seven, 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 seven stars. Okay. Nothing will be left over because it is easily divisible. Twenty eight divided by four. What will be the quotient? Seven. Remainder will be zero. Each group 
there will be seven flats. Okay, if you count all, it will be thirty-five. But one flower will be left over. So now you have to write one flower left over. What number they have given? How many uh, flowers will be there, or how many leaves are there? In the next one, you can see there are leaves. Yes or no? Can you see? Yes. Leaves are there, and the next one you have balls. Okay. So count how many leaves are there, how many balls are there, and they have also called groups of six. Groups of seven. You will have to divide and make the uh, groups. Okay. See the next one we have groups of six. Yes. Yes. See one. You have groups of six. Leaves are twenty. How many? Twenty. Yes. Twenty leaves are there. You must write it. It is twenty leaves. Okay. How many groups you want to make? You want to make it groups of six. Okay. Yes. Now divide twenty divided by six. Tell me, children. Yes. Twenty or near to twenty in six table. Six is eighty. Very good. It is six means a eighty. Others, you all don't know the tables of six. Yes, six three is eighteen. Yes, twenty minus eighteen. Ten here will be one. Ten minus eight. One by two. Two. Okay. So what is the answer? One by two. Yes. Okay. So we will have to write it as six groups. Six groups of. Of how many leaves? Three leaves. Yes. Whatever portion you get, those many leaves. Okay. Yes. Tell me how many leaves are left over. Seven. How seven? Two. Two. Yes. Two. Two leaves. Two leaves are left over. Is it clear? Yes. Last one. You will have to try and tell me the answer tomorrow. Okay. Last one. Group of seven. Balls are being given. How many balls are there, and how many will be left over? Tomorrow I want the answer. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now the third question. Third question: Divide. Divide and find the portion and remainder. Third question: Fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. Fourteen. What balls? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, how many groups? How many uh, groups of dash balls? How many balls mm -hmm. are left over? You will have to find and tell me the answer tomorrow. Yes. Third question: Fourteen divided by five. Yes. Third question: First one, divide and find the portion and the remainder. You have to find portion and you have to find the remainder. Okay. Yes. Tell me, children, how will you solve this? And this one. Yes. Five divided. Forty-two divided. We have four digits. First digit you see whether you can divide it or no. Four you can't divide it by five, so we need to include both the numbers. That is forty-two. Tell me five how much of forty-two or nearer to forty-two? How can we divide it? Five. Five. Yes, five to eight zero is forty. You should see the number which is less than or equal to that number. Five eights are forty. Two minus zero, two. Four minus four, zero. Yes. Tell me, what is our portion? Eight. Eight. What is the remainder? Two. Two. Okay. So now you will have to write it as portion is equal to. 
Okay, when they are asked to specifically, you have to mention at the last portion is a, remainder is two. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Next one. Next one. Forty-three divided divided by five. Forty-three. We have to divide it by five. Yes. Tell me. Forty-three divided by five. Yes. Five number of five eights are forty. Yes. Five eights are forty. What is the remainder? Three. 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 What is eight more hands? Quotient. Quotient. It is a quotient. What is three? Remainder. Remainder. Don't tell us remainder. It is remainder. M A I N. Remainder. What remains of the last of the division is known as remainder. So tell me, what do you write here? Quotient is equal to three, and remainder is. What is the remainder? The motion is three, and the remainder is three. Okay. Yes. So this is our uh, exercise six point three. Third question. First and second answer C and D for homework. Practice C and D. Okay. From question number three, C and D is for homework. Tomorrow I want the answers. What is remainder and what is quotient? Okay. The last question. Divide. Find the quotient and remainder. Till here everything will be same. Extra question is also verify the answer. Can you tell me what will you do for verification? Yes. How will you verify the answer? Divisor into quotient plus remainder. Yes, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So here, what will be the process? Eight five into eight plus three. Yes or no? But in third question, they have not asked about the verification. Fourth question will be for verification. I will solve one. Yes. Fourth question. First one. First one. Sixty-five divided by eight. Sixty-five divided by eight. Okay. Yes. Can you help me? How to solve this division process? Eight outside the bracket is divisible, and sixty-five, which is a dividend. Okay. Can you divide six by eight? No. No. So, so we will have to include both the numbers. That is sixty-five. Yes. How will you divide sixty-five by eight? Eight by sixty-four. Yes. Very good. Eight eights are sixty-four. We will write sixty-four, and we need to sum up. Yes. Sixty-five minus sixty-four is one. Yes. Okay. Here, yeah. Now, what I mean is one. Yes. Question is eight. Okay. First, they have asked the question. Find the question and remainder. First, what we will do? We will have to write question is equal to eight. Remainder is what is remainder? Yeah. Okay. 
Practice. 